So, so give us the gist of the story and like where it came from. The, um, this this story is about male venture capitalists behaving badly when it comes to interacting with female founders. Basically, if they didn't hook up with or sleep with the male VC, they weren't going to get funded. You know, for me and other reporters, my inbox is full right now of allegations against male venture capitalists. I've seen some people talk about this as a Silicon Valley problem, a Silicon Valley tech bro problem. In terms of kind of where it's happening, it's happening all over the place. For every story, you want to be sure when you publish, but this one you want to be double, triple, quadruple sure. You want to make sure that you don't, for lack of a better term, out somebody and identify somebody who doesn't want to be identified. And on the other side, you are potentially ruining someone's entire career. Uh, where are you heading? Ah, uh, Boston. Time to get back home. This has been going on for years and years. This isn't a new story. The fact that it's in the news is the new part. The sexual harassment is being taken more seriously now. And I think there's now a feeling among women in Silicon Valley that if they speak up, they can actually get something done. They can get something accomplished. It's the biggest story in a while. If, if you tie it in with Uber, yeah, because it's not about a particular company. It's not about a particular investor. It's broader than that. Bye, Dan. <laughs>